In this tutorial, we will be showing you how to automate the CSV upload process. This tutorial will help you to access a CSV from an FTP location and then upload it automatically to the desync system. The desync system enables users to set time schedules for when the CSV should be fetched and uploaded. This process is designed for users who would like to fetch a CSV from an FTP location, automatically map the data, and then push to a desired location. To begin, we will need to add a new system to the desync dashboard. The first step is to select System, then select Add New Blank. A pop-up box will appear asking to add a new system. Proceed to name the system. This will add a new system onto the desync dashboard. Now that you have created a new system, we will need to add an endpoint to the system. On the right-hand side, select Add an Endpoint. Create a name for your endpoint. Within the Type section, select Source. In the Connector field, select FTP, then select OK. When the FTP job is selected, on the right-hand side, details will appear of where to access the CSV file. In this location, we will need to apply the settings for the FTP. Enter in the FTP details. The details required will be host, username, password, port, and path. Within the path section, you can specify a file or grab all of the files in the directory. Proceed to enter the FTP details, then select Save the Details. Next, we will need to create a data layout. Click on the job and then select New under the Create a Data Layout. The Data Layout section will appear. Then select CSV. We are going to upload a file by selecting the file icon. Drag and drop the CSV into the blue section, then select OK. Confirm all of the data is correct, then select Save. Now we are going to create a relation. A relation helps you to connect one point to another. Select and highlight the FTP job and then on the right hand side select Create Relation. Click on the desired endpoint. Name your job. Now we need to create a map. A map will help you to drag and drop fields you would like to correspond. In this case, we will be creating our own map. To create a new map, simply click on the line between the FTP job and the endpoint. Create a name and a description for the map. Now we will need to edit the map. Once you have named your map, you can edit the fields by selecting Edit on the right-hand column. Edit the map by dragging and dropping the field names you would like mapped. Proceed to save the map. Now we will need to set the time the job should run. Select the line in between the FTP job and the endpoint. On the right-hand side, there is a schedule. The schedule is where we can set the time the job should run. Within the schedule, you can select Recurring. Jobs can be run at selected times, minute, hour, day, month, and year. After selecting the times the job should run, save the schedule. This completes the CSV automated FTP process. The process is now complete and is ready for testing.